I joined Intel Research Labs. The need for computational power in the world had already exceeded spreadsheets, so they were saying, what's next? The best thing Intel could do is start providing a common infrastructure, and that was the start of OpenCV. I said, let's make an open common infrastructure. OpenCV is a library of software. It's an organized collection of routines that do what's called computer vision. This is allowing the camera and computers to understand the world. One of the huge benefits of OpenCV is anyone who's doing coding is you have large chunks of complex functionality that has already been debugged for you. We were the first ones to put out a very comprehensive camera calibration that allowed everybody to standardize their cameras and mathematically orient them to one another. Another big event was I was on the Stanley team. It was a part of the start of autonomous driving. From there, OpenCV is in Google Maps and, and all kinds of other vision products that you see. Most people are consuming OpenCV through the Python interface now. And in those pip installs, we're getting like one to two million a week. This has been a real advance in the field, the deep neural network. So it, it's really made vision capable of understanding people, making cars drive. It's really fundamental to everything now. And, and also the speech recognition is run on these same deep networks. And, and so the contribution has been to revolutionize computer vision. We don't even know where it's, it's going to go. And in OpenCV with OpenCV.ai, it's like OpenCV's original mission. Can we create a platform that accelerates robotics rather than everybody right now is reinventing the wheel for themselves? Can we just go at a higher level? Because right now the robotic, smart robotic deployments are disappointing. There aren't actually many, even today. I'd like to help drive that forward by creating a platform. And we've done that, like just recently we introduced this OpenCV AI kit on Kickstarter. With this module we created, the OpenCV AI toolkit, we're hoping that that's gonna become what I wanna do, is sort of create like the Lego building blocks of computer vision. Click, 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 I've got my pest detection and now, you know, <laughs> we can, you know, grow our fields or, or, or do whatever, run freight or create robots or sort trash. So, you know, that's, that's really my focus is the Lego blocks of computer vision. That's what I want OpenCV to have. What am I doing OpenCV for? Well, I would like to see humanity create intelligent, you know, self-autonomous, self-purposed um, life that escapes our planet so that we see the universe. <laughs> These are grandiose goals like, like, like um, you know, um, colonizing Mars. I don't think people are going to colonize space. They're, they're not meant for it. We can't stand the radiation or conditions, but I think robots that become truly intelligent could. And I don't know, and I'm doubtful that any of this will happen in my t lifetime, but I'm hopeful this infrastructure will be useful for achieving that goal.